How's it going? Today we're going to be cooking a whole goose, roasting it in the oven. So to start, we've got a pan of bacon that's frying. We're doing this just for the grease. We're going to take the bacon and we're going to we're going to scorch the skin of the bird with the grease. So then it gives it a crispy skin, and the skin turns out nice. And then this bacon's going to end up going inside the bird as well, so it doesn't matter if the bacon gets super crispy because it's going to go back in the oven for a while. That's what I'm doing right now. Alright, so you can see this bacon's definitely not crispy, but we're getting it out of there because we got all the grease we need to scorch the outside of the goose. I don't know, I might have misspoke earlier and said we were cooking a turkey, but we're definitely cooking a goose. So we're getting this out of here. And then all this grease that's hot down at the bottom, we're going to put our bird in a pan. We're going to scorch the skin with this. That's what's going to make the skin nice, ideally. So I just added some butter to the bacon grease. So that's what we're going to scorch our goose with. Now we'll go over here to the goose. See if this pan fits. It's got a pan here. So here's another key thing I forgot to mention. This is in a bucket that's got, uh, what would you call it? Broth, not a broth. What would you call that? I don't know. Brine, it's brine. got a brine and it's got salt, Lori's seasoned salt and pepper. And ideally you'd sit it in there overnight, but I've just been sitting it in there for a few hours and we're gonna call it good. Here's the bird. Pretty gross right now, but it'll look better later. All right. So there's the bird, pretty fresh, he was flying this morning, so. All right, so there's our bird in our pan. We got a bird in our pan, so now we'll take it up here. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this good and hot, we're gonna scorch it, and that's what, like I said, it's gonna make the skin nice. And I was looking around online trying to figure out how to do this. There's not a lot of resources on how to do this with a wild Canadian goose. So I decided I'd do this video in case this works out and somebody else wants to know how. Alright. So now we're going to try this. Oh yeah. And you can see what it's doing to that skin on the legs there. No real rhyme or reason to this. You can see it tightening up there. I'm just trying to get it to scorch all parts of the skin here. Letting it run over the whole bird. Little bits of bacon getting on there. That doesn't hurt anything. I didn't know how much this would actually do to it, but I can see the skin actually tightening up everywhere, so it's working pretty nicely. Get all that on there. Anything else that wants to come out, little pieces of bacon. And then, you're ready to start shoving stuff in the bird. So for that, I've been looking online, got a mix of a bunch of different stuff from a bunch of different recipes I was looking at. We're gonna do a butter ball, so we're gonna put two sticks of butter in a ball. We're also gonna put the bacon in there. We're gonna put in some other stuff also. All right, so now we're gonna make the butter ball got three things here. We've got cloves of garlic, two sticks of butter that are kind of cold, halfway about room temperature so you can work with it, and then an onion. Just using however much I want of each because I don't have any exact measures. All right, the cameraman had a good question while we were working on this here. He goes, so what are you actually doing with all this? Well, I'm literally making a butter ball. I'm going to put all the butter and all these ingredients into a ball and then I'm going to put that ball inside the turkey. And then it's going in goose. there. Goose! Gosh dang it, yes it's a goose. We're cooking a goose. And then this Canadian goose is going in the oven for an undetermined amount of time until it looks good. And the oven's at 355 and from there I'm going to eyeball it. And we're putting all this, shove it together, Put the bacon in there too, see what other stuff we find laying around, shove it in the bird. That's the recipe so far. So, so far with this goose, we've seared it. Now we're getting ready to make the butter ball. I don't know if I want this many onions, so I'm likely going to get rid of some of these onions. 
but that's what's happening now. If you like onions, add this many onions, but I don't know anybody that likes this many onions because this is like half onions at this point, so we're getting rid of some of these. That's when we like it. Alright, so here's my butter ball. We're going to try to get this fit into this bird. Alrighty then. Still a little warm from the grease. And there, okay, that's all there is to it apparently. I'm gonna shove some of that in there. Bacon's never hurt anything before, so just get all that in a can. By now the skin's cooled off enough I can touch it since I've seared it. So now the bird's all set up, I think. I might sear the skin one more time because I don't like the way it is yet. So I might do the skin one more time. All right, I think it's ready to try her. I don't know, it looks good, if nothing else. Now, it didn't have the effect on the skin I wanted it to, but it sure didn't hurt. All right, so now I think I'm gonna add a little more chicken stock right before this thing goes in the oven. Try to get this. Alright, so that's in the oven, now all we do is wait. So here we are, just pulled out the bird. Got some pieces here you can look at, it's looking pretty outstanding here. There's some meat, we're going to strip it all off, eat it like turkey, there she is, there's all the stuff I put inside, there's corn. Over there we got gravy, uh, cranberries mashed potatoes, stuffing, it's going to be outstanding. Mm. Great, a little better than a lot of college kids are right now. 